Hi, collective. Hello, hello. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am back. What's going on, family? Peace, love, and light. Good morning to you. So we're going to jump in, Scorpio, to see what are the messages. Okay? All right. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button and become a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. If you are returning, hey, girl, hey, hey, boy, hey. Keep in mind that this reading is general, okay? So only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I had someone in the comments the other day, well, actually, I just saw this morning, that's like, oh, you know, I'm not a karmic, I'm, in I'm a divine feminine or whatever the hell she said. Listen, like I told, you know, before, place yourself where you see fit. If this is not your story, give it back to the universe. This may be someone else's story. But if you're that bothered when it comes to the readings, then you may not need to watch readings. That tells me that you have some inner work that you need to fix on yourself, you know? <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. What is the message, Holy Spirit? And also, if you would like a personal reading for your own unique situation, all of my information is down in the description box. So we have freedom and relief. Okay, so you guys may be freeing yourself, relieving yourself from a situation, taking back your power. Tell me more for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages for the collective of Scorpio. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, or negative energy that's coming towards my channel, I said you block it. Send it back to its rightful owner a thousandfold in Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen and amen. Show me else what I need to see for Scorpio. What do you have for them? All right, guys, so this may be your only message from the universe here. Freedom and relief. Anything else? This might be your message this morning. Okay. All right, so Spirit said that is it, guys. So we have freedom and relief. So like I said, a lot of you guys, you may have freed yourself from a particular person, place, or situation. You find some relief. You let go and let God also is what I'm getting. All right, Scorpio. So let's focus on freedom and relief. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Clarify freedom, relief. Clarify freedom, relief. Thank you. All right, so we have vows. Hmm. So some of you guys could have been married to someone, made some type of promise, commitment. Maybe you freed yourself from these vows. Tell me more about freedom, relief. Tell me more for Scorpio. Clarify freedom and relief, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. All right, so we have three cards that came out. We have confusion. We have tension. And we have farewells. So yeah, some of you guys, you said your goodbyes to someone. There was too much arguments, too much stress here. And with vows, I'm getting some of you guys could have been engaged or was in a long-term commitment or possibly a marriage to someone. You're freeing yourself from this. You said your goodbyes. You close out this chapter. There was too much confusion going on. Unsettling energy. All right. So let's get this clarified, guys. Let's see what else is going on here. <clears throat> All right. Show me what I need to see, Spirit. Tell me more about freedom and relief for Scorpio. You know, you freed yourself from all this argument, stress. You need to take back your power. You want to free yourself. You want peace. You're tired of being in this confusion energy. 
Tell me more about freedom, relief. Thank you. Yeah, there's too much conflict. You can't move forward with this person. Chariot in the reverse. This could be a cancer. Wow. Mm. We also have the three of pentacles. So, you know that you guys cannot move forward. And it's possibly someone is wanting to work something out with you, come back together, but you're like, I need to free myself, relieve myself from all this drama. I need to say my goodbyes. There's too much conflict between this person, too many hidden motives, secrets, confusion here. So yeah, you guys are moving forward with the Six of Swords. Yeah. Tell me more about freedom, relief. Thank you. Oh, wow. It could have been a third party involved with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Or this is your person that's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that was very manipulative, disloyal to you. Yeah, look at there. Thank you, Spirit. You freed yourself. And again, we have freedom, releasing, and you're saying your goodbyes. Separate ties, letting go. Wow. Mm. Okay. Tell me more. This person could have came together with a third party is what I'm getting. We have temperance. You're being patient, allowing divine timing to be at play. Sagittarius energy. Pouring back into yourself. Yeah. Bringing harmony and peace into your own life. Freeing yourself. Yeah. And again, <laughs> the same cards keep coming back up out of all 78 cards here. So this tells me you're freeing yourself and this is you, Scorpio. You release and let go. Said your goodbyes just like farewells. You close the chapter. Yeah. Tell me more for Scorpio. You thought you guys was working on some type of commitment, you know, growing together, working together as a team, but comes to find out there could have been a third party that brought a lot of confusion. Now, third parties could be family, friends, or another lover that's outside. Now, this can also be a person with a queen of cups, someone who is very disloyal, who's shallow, who brought nothing but confusion. You just want peace. You want peace away from all this drama, this stress, the turbulence, emotions all over the place. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more about freedom and relief. And of course, guys, like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, do not make it fit. Page of Wands in the reverse. Fire signs. Hmm. Aries Leo Sag. It seems as though this person got distracted. They were very unreliable, possibly through temper tantrums or disrespectful. The thing is, with the heart front here, Taurus energy, you learn your lesson. You learn your lesson from this. Yeah. It's too, again, it's too much confusion, hostility. You may have cut off communication with this person. With the Ace of Swords, of course, Libra Gemini. You feel like you wasted your time with the Seven of Pentacles. You made a bad investment into this person. This person has... A lack of growth. They're very impatient. Yeah, hot-headed. They want to be a player or play it. Being inconsistent in and out of your life, you know? Someone who's non-committal. This can be a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But see, the thing is, you may in intimidate this person because you're way more mature, more wiser. You're confident within your energy. You're beautiful inside and out. Yeah. You're very self-assured about yourself. Mm hmm Look at there. King of um, Wands. See, you need someone that's on your level. This person is coming out in the reverse. You need someone who's going to be on your level. Someone who's going to be very wise, calm, balanced with their emotions, loyal to you. See, this person was very disloyal. So, yeah, you had to say your goodbye, sever ties. This was a very painful ending. Yeah. You're ready for something new, a new beginning, a new spark, a new passionate beginning here. Ace of Wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at there. Look at spirit. New love, new passions, new things coming towards you. A new emotionally. Ooh, Scorpio. You about to get a new love in your life. Wow. Well, you might have to make a choice. Yep. So one may send you a message and express to you how much they do like you. Okay. Maybe express some type of feelings and emotions. Maybe send you messages here. Whoever this is, this is going to be a divine masculine. Possibly an Aries, maybe an older gentleman. Someone who's very disciplined, a father figure, who is someone who's of authority, stability. Wow. Yeah, see, you don't need this low vibrational ass energy. You don't need this. Tell me more for Scorpio. What is the final messages? 
freedom, relief. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, wow, that's too many. But I do see the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you guys are walking away, freeing yourself. Going on a spiritual journey on your own. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. Thank you. So what flipped over is the Seven of Pentacles again. So this card is coming out again. See, yeah, you're saying you're combined to this low vibrational person, whoever this is that's very childish, who's unreliable. They're too impatient. They have, they still have some growing up to do, and you feel like you've been patient long enough, and you're tired of waiting. Yeah, again, this player, see what I'm saying? You intimidate this person. You need someone that's on your level. The same cards that keep coming back out, guys. See what I'm saying? Same cards, and I'm shuffling. You need someone who is on your level. You're looking forward to meeting a king of wands, who's someone who is beautiful, attractive, self-sufficient, who's very passionate, just like you. Someone who's a leader, who's a boss type of energy. Yeah. Because all this person did was took you through too much stress, drama, BS for no reason, you know, abuse mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Wow. Mm-hmm. You're moving forward. You're healing. Yeah. Six of swords. But guess what? This person is on the sidelines, stalking and watching you to see what you're up to on social media. Mm-hmm. You separated yourself. You're like, I don't have time for this shit no more. It, it's over with. And see what I'm saying? You see how you're looking at <laughs> this not a one's like, boy, please, child, please. Like, we're not even on the same page. You're too hot-tempered. You don't know how to control yourself. You're still a child. You know, you want to be in and out. You don't want to commit to me. You still got some growing up to do, and I don't have time for that. I need a man. I need a woman who's ready. Yeah. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So if you would like a personal reading on your own unique situation, all of my information is down in my description box, okay? Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.